Welcome back, students. Before I show you this afternoon's book, I have a really cool photograph, uh, um, a picture on my phone to show you. It was amazing. Um, every day, uh, there's a place where I skim out some leaves from my pool, and sometimes I find these big giant spiders in there, like really big giants. And so I try to be careful to dump the leaves out uh, in the bin and then take the spider and kind of rescue it and put it in the bushes because you don't want to kill any insects that you don't have to, right? And spiders are very useful insects. They eat up a lot of other kind of insects that aren't so nice, like mosquitoes and stuff like that. Anyway, so today, one of the spiders, it was just amazing. I think it must have been a female, you know, like a, a female spider because it had this giant, I think this is an egg sac. It had an egg sac attached to it. So I tried to kind of grab it with a net and we observed it for a little while and I took this really cool picture so you can see that it had an egg sac. It was just amazing. And then afterwards I was able to um, take it and set it out back in the trees and stuff. And then I also wanted to show you one other little visitor to my yard. Um, there was a, a kind of a beetle and it looked kind of like a, a ladybug, but not quite. It was very big and he was so funny. He had climbed up one of these kinds of daisies that I have. You can see him right there. And then he couldn't figure out how to climb up on top of it. I don't know. But anyway, it was a little bit, a little ladybug looking, a little bit of a ladybug looking kind of insect in my garden. There he is again. You can see him on the nice daisy. Okay. Anyway, so I have a fun book for you today. It's a total connection to a poem that you guys had already. It's called, oh, on top of spaghetti and on the front I see a smiling dog a big bowl of spaghetti his buddy maybe a mouse with a fork and there's that big giant meatball written and illustrated by Paul Brett Johnson with lyrics by Tom Glasser and on the back there's a recipe for spaghetti and meatballs so I'm not going to read the back but I will show you it's a whole recipe for spaghetti and meatballs well I'm hungry for lunch so anyway let's see here we go. On top of spaghetti. Oh, isn't that cute? I see that the the dog, maybe it's kind of like a hound because it's going, oh, oh, as it's singing and pl accompanying, playing the guitar to accompany his own singing on top of spaghetti. Okay. So it says, howdy, folks. Welcome to Yodeler Jones's Spaghetti Emporium and Musicale. You're just in time to hear about the big sneeze. So it's kind of like a diner, a little restaurant where, well, is the mouse one of the wait waiters? And the daily special, you know, in some restaurants every day they have a different, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they have something different that that's the special. But in this place, every day is spaghetti and meatballs. So there you can see the, the dog. And there you can see the cute little mouse taking orders. And look on the menu, daily, every day. Every day is spaghetti and meatballs at this place. Okay, so I see we're in an animal town and there's different kinds of restaurants, the sheriff's office, a bank, the Piggly Wiggly, like a market. Um, oh, there's a restaurant and here's the spaghetti place. It all started when they put in that fried fritter fricassee parlor next door. I couldn't haul in a customer with a line and pole. Yodeler, I said to myself, it's time to upgrade the menu. Okay, well, I gotta stop and think. So we're in the town and I think the dog owns the spaghetti restaurant and a new restaurant has opened next door, fried fritter fricassee, so lots of fried stuff. That could be kind of crunchy, yummy, not too healthy. But anyway, and look, there's a line going out the door and everybody is going to this restaurant instead of to his. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Hmm, he calls himself a yodeler. So, I set out to invent the most delicious meatball this side of Sicily. <clears throat> Sicily's an island in Italy. And I likely did, but the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough for a taste test. Okay, so he's in his kitchen concocting, making up a super delicious meatball. Oh, look, he's sprinkling pepper and the poor little mouse is sneezing. And 
But he says, but the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough for a taste test. So what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Sure enough, the song begins. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody... Da, da, da. Sneezed. So the little mouse sneezed because of all the pep because of all the pepper. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. Oh, there it goes. And then my poor meatball rolled out of the door. Okay, so everybody's looking up and the meatball is flying through the air. For all I knew, my entire future depended on that runaway meatball. I had to have a bite. Okay, so he's going to go chase his meatball. Hmm. I was hot on the trail when it flew to the Piggly Wiggly and hit dear Miss Jenkins smack dab in the squash. Oh, Miss Jenkins is an ostrich and hit it on her bottom. Pardon my meatball, I said. Then I told my tale. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. So he kind of starts the song over again to tell his story. And there she is getting hit on the bum. Boop. And up goes the meatball. That wasn't the end of it, though. Not by a monkey's tail. My meatball went a whooshing and a whizzing, and this time it landed in front of the sheriff's office. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Okay, so it looks like every time it bounces off someone or he gets to a new group of people, he's starting the song over again to explain what is happening with this meatball that is flying around town, that is ricocheting, right? Bouncing off all different stuff. <gasps> Next thing I knew, my meatball zinged all the way to the ballpark. By the time I caught up, some tad whacker was just about to chop down. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody... Don't eat it! <laughs> What's going to happen? <gasps> squeezed oh okay so they're tackling the piggy and the piggy was squeezing down on his bun and poof, it squirted out the meatball <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <gasps> that meatball shot to the outfield boomeranged whizzed by the shortstop flew over the pitcher's mound, and headed directly for home plate. <gasps> Bad Bubba Jr. was up at bat. Ooh, Bad Bubba Jr. Is, looks like to be an alligator. And the meatball is incoming. Incoming. What's going to happen? <gasps> Talk about your home run. My meatball zoomed through the wild blue yonder. And where do you reckon it landed? Hmm, where do you think it would land? I'm wondering if you can stop and guess. Or you could even think to yourself, where would I like it to land to make a good story, huh? Hmm. Maybe back at the restaurant? I don't know. <gasps> oh, it rolled in the garden and under a bush. And then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. <gasps> Yodeler, I said to myself, you might as well put up a for sale sign on your restaurant. Then, lo and behold, a miracle occurred. Oh, what kind of miracle could happen 
to rescue that mushed meatball. <gasps> the mush was as tasty as tasty could be. And by the next day, it turned into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew great big meat balls and tomato sauce. Oh my gosh, a whole tree that grows meat balls and sauce. Mm. Wow, I'm really getting hungry for lunch. <laughs> Know what? Those were the most delicious meatballs this side of Sicily. Nowadays, plenty of folks stop in for a belly full. I always tell them though, ready? If you eat spaghetti all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatball and don't ever... What would rhyme? What would rhyme? Okay, so now there's a line at his restaurant. Oh, and the poor other restaurant had to close down. They didn't get enough business. And don't ever sneeze. Ay, 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 there the elephant is sneezing. The pepper made her sneeze, and there goes the meatball. Up and out the window, just like before. I think it's gonna start all over again. Okay, and on the last page are the, the words to the song and the actual music, and on the back is the recipe. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that fun on top of spaghetti, that fun version, right? That version that kind of blended the song with a fun story, right, about the dog. Hmm, I'm wondering what else could have happened, though. Hmm, anyway. I hope you guys have a nice afternoon. Uh, don't forget to keep washing your hands. Cover your coughs and sneezes. Do some reading. Do some writing. Help your family around the house. Um, don't forget to keep gathering up your books. If I haven't picked them up yet, please be sure to get your parents to email me. I'm happy to come visit you. I've already, I think I've visited about 12, 13, 14 kids. Yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. I miss you. Elbow bump.